Hi, if we talk about triggers in Logic App, it's mainly two types. One is polling trigger, other one is a push trigger. Polling triggers are the time bounded. It regularly check for a service endpoint for a new data. For example, schedule. In schedule, we need to specify how regularly workflow should be executed. If we talk about push trigger, these are not time bounded. It wait for a specific event to happen. When that particular event happen, triggers fire immediately. For example, at HTTP request. Let's see both one by one. Okay, so in schedule we have this recurrence. So here uh, we can see we have option for interval and then frequency. Okay, so we can set it to as per our requirement every three minute or every three hour or three day. Okay, along with that we can add new parameters such as time zone and start time. Okay. Inside time zone, we can select any time zone, and inside this start time, we have to specify the start time. Okay, we'll remove this one now. This is an example of polling trigger. Okay, let's see one more example. Here also you can see, here we have to specify a folder and then we have to fill this criteria and then again we have this option. How often do you want to check for items? Okay, so these are the examples of polling trigger. Now we'll see the example of push trigger. Okay, so for that uh, we can select this request and we can select this HTTP request is received. Here we have to specify this JSON body if we want and if we want we can add these methods. Okay, method and relative path. So if I'm selecting both. Then I will get option for methods such as put post get patch delete okay once i will save this particular workflow it will generate this url okay let's save this one okay so here you can see it has generated this url so whenever we will hit this url this particular work workflow will get executed okay so that's all for trigger thank you for watching